the environment and nature itself is a collective heritage of all mankind. And uh, I'm aware of the support you're all giving to the NCCC, um, and I want to thank you all for that. You see, few points have been made by the chairman, which I want to underscore, particularly for the attention of Mr. President. This country is behind in terms of our climate response. And uh, the chairman house committee talked about the need to operationalize the climate fund. They referred to that over and over. And Mr. President, that is one important takeaway uh, so that our development partners and everyone will be clear about the commitment of our country. Not just to Georgia, not just to meet at uh, this and other fora, that is good, but we must now begin to, you know, have a reliable template upon which our actions for climate response will rest, that will give satisfaction and confidence uh, to everyone else, particularly our partners, uh, so that um, we, as a giant of Africa, can lead in the climate sphere. Uh, this week, and certainly before the next COP meeting uh, in Azerbaijan, there will be a motion that my committee and I are working on, uh, which will again draw attention to this national imperative, the need to operationalize the form. Uh, Mr. President, there will also be a need for us to talk about our climate governance issues. There has to be greater clarity on who is driving. And as far as the laws of this country are concerned, there is a national template already, which is the NCCC. And so all agencies of government all departments of government need to be alive to that reality, the legal reality of the existence of the NCCC. If there is need to fine tune the governance mechanism through an appropriate legislation, the National Assembly um, is there, our committees are there to interface. But, Mr. President, please. Is I represent draw to the president his attention that there is a lot of concern about the seeming uh, dissonance in our climate governance mechanism. In all my interactions with development partners, uh, this 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 has been pointed out several. Uh, the N C is there. We work with it. We strengthen it. We fine tune it as we move along. And so that those two points, the need to operationalize the climate fund, and then the need for support for the NCCC, uh, while conversations can go on about how we can uh, make it uh, stronger, those conversations are always uh, welcome. Uh, that's all I wanted to add. I know that. Um, the organizers have asked me to participate later in the day uh, in a discussion program. I look forward to it, but I've been asked not to give a lecture, as my colleague did, even though I agree with all that he said. But mine is a goodwill. And so on behalf of my, the committee, Senate Committee on Ecology and Climate Change, I join the, my colleague, the chairman, and all of us in the National Assembly to wish you all well, to thank the DG and all our development partners, the President's representative for finding time, and all of you for finding time to be here to be part of this very important conversation. I wish you all a very fruitful and productive deliberation as I wait to participate 
in the discussion program that we'll be holding later on. Thank you very much once again for coming. God bless you all.